Welcome to Ruby Structures, where we design structural elements. So on today's video, we'll be exploring flat slabs, the design of flat slabs on Pluto structure. Okay, so as you all know, flat slabs are structural elements, they are slabs that provide seamless finish and allow for flexible usage of space by eliminating beams. If you check our model here, there are no beams. Okay, so these are flat slabs. Okay, so we're going to be diving into the modeling of this and also the design of this and how you can design this using Proto Structure. Please, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we'll go to our orthogonal axis generator. Click on the point where you want to start. Okay, so for direction one axis, we'll be using 4000 times 3, and here's going to be 4000 times 5. Okay, and press OK. Okay, so this is your grid. As you go, is you're going to impute your columns, you're going to be circular columns. So you come to your section manager, pick the circular column, okay. Diameter is going to be 400. Diameter of your is going to be 400. Then you come to drop, insert drop panel. It's going to be flat cell. So, in order to reduce punching share, we are going to be using a drop panel, a drop head for the column. So, the drop head we are going to be using is going to be, drop head we are going to be is going to be 500 by 500 drop head. Since the column is for diameter of 400, the drop the column drop panel is going to be wider than it. We are going to be 500 by 500, and the depth of it is going to be uh, let's say about 400 depth drop. Okay, we are going to place at the center. So, and to impute it, you click. If you zoom in, you're going to see. You press escape key you see the column and the dotted lines around it is the drop head if you come to view right click on it and you check your 3d physical model and you zoom into it you're going to see how it looks like you can turn this one because you see how it looks like okay come back to your plan click on the column right click on it sorry click on the column right click on it then you go to properties I'll be using that same properties of column for every other column so you can highlight the areas you want to impute columns and columns will be imputed instead of picking the one after the other just like that okay next thing we are going to be doing is going to be we are going to be imputing a flat slab so you come to slab okay still need to define load cases first so yes I'll use loading generator. Okay. And okay. Okay, so for our slab, we are going to be using a the flat slab. So we are going to be using a 200 depth flat slab. Okay, so for the load, it's going to be an office area. So we are going to use a room. The load impose load is going to be we're going to be in an office area so we're going to check for an office area above the ground okay so we're going to be using 2.5 for the office area so impute the flash slab click So that's a flat slab. You can come and check it in 3D. See what we are doing? Okay. You can 3D to see what you're doing. Flat slab, flat slabs don't have beams. Okay. Come back to our plan view. 
and next we are going to be doing is we are going to be imputing um, slab strips so we come to a slab strip okay we're going to be using fixed end strip okay so we're going to be using a fixed band so how do you want it to impute the slab you want to use a fixed end flow analysis not if the building analysis okay so we just pick the first point you wait for it to show the arrow the triangle sorry so that's the midpoint click there pull your control for a straight line and you click the end point okay you're going to see a band around it the band is the band of it so what you're going to do is you want this band you want this band to reach the ends of this slab okay remember this is your direction x so what you're going to come and do is you come here for the left change it to 2000 okay update you see it has extended to the end of it because we want the slab strip to cover the whole span of the of the other slab the right same thing 2000 we update okay so we impute strips again midpoint hold your control okay fix hold your control okay change the direction to direction y same thing wait for it to give you the triangle okay okay midpoint okay midpoint We will control to make it a straight line. Okay. You have your slab strip. You can escape that. Okay. So that's it. Assuming this is an office area with no partition walls, so we are not going to put in any line loads let's just say this is an open office area okay with no partition walls right maybe like a conference room or thereabouts check your 3d okay so next we are going to be doing we are going to be generating this story so we come to story you're going to insert story I'm going to be inserting three stories okay We come to our first story, come to story, right click, we're going to generate this story. We're going to be generating the same thing to story one, hold your control story three. So we're going to from story one, you're going to replicate it to story two and story three. Click on OK. Process completed. Okay. So we come to a 3D view. You can see a flat slab. Okay. So you can go ahead to come, come to review, check your UD model, start. So that your model is okay, error zero. Come to analysis. Come to fix and flow analysis. Okay, you're going to be selecting all and flow mesh. Okay. Okay, so no, you're not going to continue. Change you're going to change the flow mesh to 0 0.25. Okay. Let's start.
so the analysis has been completed you see if you check it has been checked green so the fixed end flow analysis has been completed click close done with this we click close then we come to a building analysis when you come to a building analysis we are going to edit materials first of all very important we want to check, check change this strength of our columns to so we apply to our members okay change is still grade 410 apply to our members and you we going to edit this so for your slabs for slabs you can tick slabs for slab we just want why slabs we want on tick sorry for slabs we want y12 reinforcements y12 or y16 reinforcement for our slabs for our columns we want y16 reinforcement so just check and uncheck accordingly okay then press ok press ok next thing you come to our model options come to slab model okay so as in So we are not including slabs in the building model okay so because you are, we are using a fixed end to determine slab so you can come to analysis okay, slab model remember we are not fixing it because remember we use finite element analysis for our slabs okay so come to analysis building analysis To select columns and reselect all bars for our columns. Okay, so this okay. come to post analysis check our column all design all our column passed right 6 by 6 and all our column pass and why it has links you can maximize this look at it all our columns passed okay close we're going to come to design come to slab Okay, so slab shibon so we delete and reselect all bars okay, so it only provided for saying so section insufficient so what we're going to do is we're going to go and increase the depth of our slabs okay so we can end this we're going to increase the depth of our slab so we come we're going to increase the depth of our slab right click on it member stable slab table so we are going to be increasing the depth of our slab to to be increasing it to 250 250 okay close we're going to run the whole analysis all over again okay sorry I'm going to be increasing it for all the stories come to story 2 same thing slab table change it to yes change it to 250 okay close come to story 3 
lab table, change it to 250. close that okay so next thing we go to fix for analysis select all run the mesh again Analysis complete, so we close. Okay, building analysis. Analyze the building, building analysis. Okay, so I don't want to select, so we just build analysis. Okay, come to design, check slab design. Not interactive, okay. So, so what we can do now is to come to by select mode to delete and select all bars. So, it has finished, so you close. You realize that all your slabs have passed all of it has passed your design status now all has passed okay so that's how you fix that section was insufficient so we just increase the depth of our slab to 250 and all our slabs has passed okay you can end this and you zoom into and you look at it what has been zoom into your slabs you realize that it has been provided okay so that's how you design flash slabs on proto structure do well to subscribe to the channel like the video and comment thank you